So my name is Peter Garcia. Um, I was born in Miami, born and raised um, Cuban American. Make sure the company is always executing on its deliverables. Make sure our forward vision is being executed on a day-to-day -day basis. Making sure our staff is always feeling encouraged, appreciated, and always keeping a bigger picture focus. And making sure that we're planning ahead um, and executing on Morgan's visions for the company. Black, no cream, no sugar. Unless it's a cotadito, which I'll have a couple times a week. It's a part of your everyday life. I've been able to see how it all comes from the farms and how we get it and how underappreciated a lot of the culture is to get that cup of coffee to, uh, to our cups, you know, to our homes, to our families. So it's really been inspiring to see the full process and actually make it come to fruition to our clients and those that purchase from us. Depends the day. Mondays, seven. Tuesdays, six. Wednesdays, depends the Wednesday. The perfect meal to start a morning is a cup of Mallorca coffee and dos croquetas. Not three, dos croquetas. Sunrise on the water with a fishing rod. To bring a little bit of, you know, that profile of Cuban coffee to every home in America and to our customers, I mean, to me it's huge. I love fishing, okay? It's one of my favorite things to do. I love being on the water, on a boat. I, I love it, that's my number one thing. But I'm not very good at it. Invisibility, because a fish can't see me coming. Un cafecito en Versailles with my abuelo, eating un popolón. That's like a Cuban sugar cookie. And then I had a croqueta. Croqueta is life. Croqueta, it's any kind of protein, Fried. Take pollo. pollo you can have a bacalao croqueta, you can have a croqueta de pecado. There's ham and cheese croquetas, those are intense. You can have a guava croqueta. That is pure calories, but they're delicious. And if you're really feeling dangerous one day, a guava and cheese croqueta. My favorite croqueta moment was actually when I took my firstborn son Lucas out to Isla Canarias. It's probably the best croquetas in Miami. Um, and I got him a croqueta. And I saw this kid with a joy in his heart eat his first croqueta. I've never seen a four-year-old eat so many croquetas so fast within such a small time period. It was amazing. It's a proud moment in my life.